spend as much time in uh, planning as possible before you actually finalize your instruments. We kept adapting our instruments on the fly because we got pushback that some of them were too long and some were too complex. We have also faced challenges in getting the, some of our respondents to tell us what's going on in their communities. And uh, that has a, been a continuing headache. Nobody, nobody likes to fill out periodic surveys as, as to what they're doing. Uh, the people who are invested in Project Lazarus at the community level are invested because they want to be out doing, not, they don't want to be out reporting on what they are doing. So uh, uh, all of this has been challenging. Um, this, one piece of advice that I have for communities that, or that might want to conduct an evaluation like this is to um, spend a whole lot of time convincing the partners who will be reporting in as to their activities why this is so important. And staying in constant touch with them, giving them feedback, massaging them, so that when time comes to complete and uh, submit surveys, it won't be like pulling teeth. Um, in this case, this was probably beyond the scope of our evaluation because we're statewide. This is much more doable in a regional or community level. Um, but uh, the, the, the notion of getting everybody on board, if possible, at the beginning, persuading everyone of the importance of participating in the various activities that constitute the evaluation, all of the reporting that is required, um, providing feedback along the way, which we are, um, to some of the constituencies who are reporting in as to what they have told us and what we think it means. All of this is absolutely critical to maintaining the smooth flow of data collection upon which our success depends.